What's up guys? Finn here again from More Yourself. I uh, actually just got back from vacation and uh, it dawned on me that I should uh, actually make a video for you guys on how to not lose your progress or lose your gains or your weight loss, whatever you've done as you go on vacation, right? Because everyone knows you go on vacation, usually you're, you're drinking more, you're eating more, you're not exercising as much. There's a lot of stuff going on and you're not really going to then continue the progress that you've been making and been working so hard towards. So as I was on vacation, there's uh, some things that I do that help me not really back or fall back as much. All right. So maybe like I go, I just come back from a uh, 10 day vacation. I only gained about three, maybe five pounds. That's it. So I haven't lost too much. My strength pretty much stayed the same and I only gained a little bit of fat. I mean, <laughs> There was a lot of drinking, lots of different types of foods, lots of very rich foods, uh, not really worrying about portion sizes, things like that. So you're gonna gain a little bit, right? So I wanna start this off by saying that when you're on vacation, enjoy yourself. Don't get so caught up in, you know, I need to stick to this, I need to stick to that, I gotta exercise every day. Just don't bother, you're on vacation. Enjoy it, right? Have fun, enjoy your vacation. When you come back, you can fall right back into your regular schedule and you will then continue the progress that you made. Now I have three tips here for you that I personally use to help me not backtrack too much. As I said before, I only gained a few pounds at maybe five at most. So it's not too bad for a 10 day vacation with lots of really good food, not healthy food, but good food. And then also quite a bit more drinking than I would normally do on a, a typical basis. All right, so the first thing is every week or so like every couple days I do a workout it doesn't have to be a long workout maybe it's 10 minutes five ten minutes I pick three exercises usually I pick a, uh, a lower body exercise a pushing exercise and then a pulling exercise and I combine those three into three sets of going to failure so let's say I pick squats push-ups and then maybe pull-ups, or if I don't have a pull-up bar, I'll use the forearm push-ups that we discussed uh, a few weeks ago on um, for our posture, which I'll put the link down below for that video if you'd like to check that out. So I picked those three exercises. So actually we'll pick the ones without the pull-up bar. So we got squats, push-ups, and then the forearm push-ups to work the back. So I'll take those three exercises and I do one after the next. So I'll go squats to failure, push-ups to failure, forearm push-ups to failure. Get back up, squats, push-ups, forearm push-ups. Do that a third time. So I do three sets of the exercises, back to back, no rest in between. Doesn't take me very long at all. To failure, each time, it's, I think it took me a little over five minutes when I did it. So it wasn't that bad at all. Maybe seven, eight minutes tops, 10 at the most, depending upon what you're doing. And it's a quick little workout, and you only need to do that twice a week, maybe three times a week when you're on your vacation, and it's going to help you keep your strength gains, and it's going to help you keep your metabolism running pretty much the same way, right? It's just maintenance. You're on vacation. It's all about maintenance. All right, so we just use those three exercises. Done. I hit my entire body, and I can now go on to my day. And the exercises are easy enough. You can even do them in a hotel room. Uh, actually, I did mine in the hotel room because we didn't really have much of a gym where we were staying, so I just, you know, right in between the beds, there's enough space, squats, push-ups, forearm push-ups, done. Nice and quick, nice and easy, and it's very simple. Now, the second tip to give you is to make sure that you're getting enough rest. All right, vacations are usually very relaxing. Well, most of the time they're relaxing, and they should be relaxing, so use that time to catch up on rest, right? Make sure you're getting the proper amount of sleep and that's gonna help your body recover faster, right? Sometimes it's good just to take a week off randomly from your exercise. Um, I do that after every six months or so, I take one full week off where I do nothing. Maybe a little maintenance stuff here and there, but I don't do an actual workout. So use the time when you're on vacation or do what I do after every six months and just take, take a break and use that time to rest and recover and to get all the sleep that you need all the recovery that you need. That way, when you go back into your workouts, your body's ready to go as much as it can possibly be because it hasn't had to do any really strenuous activity. And when you're not stressed and your body's rested, you can always push a little further and make better gains from it. And sleep alone can actually help you lose weight. If you're not sleeping enough, 
make sure you're getting enough sleep and just that alone will help tremendously. Right? So we have the short, easy workouts just a few times a week and sleep is our second one. So now we're going on to our third tip here, which is you can use portion sizes to help control how much you eat. All right now when you're on vacation, it can be a little tough at times, things like that. But if you try to portion out your, your meal a little bit better, maybe you, know, you don't have to go with the strict portion sizes, but it could be eat the same amount of protein as carbs, eat the same amount of protein as fats, and try to balance it out that way, not as strict as you would normally be, but enough, strict enough so that you have a little more, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't even think of it. Uh, structure. <laughs> this is vacation, I gotta tell you, everything's still coming back to me. Gotta get back into work mode. So the structure is about the same, just not as strict as what you would normally do. All right. So I would take like you know, my plate and I had, maybe I go out and I order a, a steak or a hamburger or something like that. It is a good chunk of meat. I'm like, well, okay, that's a little more than I would normally eat, but fine. Well, let's see what they have for carbs. Usually they either don't have enough or they have too much, right? If you're getting a hamburger and fries, there's a lot of fries. That's like maybe three to four servings by itself, and then the hamburger might be two. So what do you do? You eat the hamburger, then you eat the fries. And if the hamburger comes with a bun, remember that's an extra one to two servings of carbs. So you gotta balance that out with it as well. Right, so you can always use those to kind of help kind of figure out where exactly you are in terms of your ratio so you can keep those down. Even if you are eating in excess, which is fine, you're on vacation, enjoy yourself. You can use that to still help you stay within a certain range or a certain limit so that you're not, you know, like carbs are way up here and then like proteins way down here or the protein's super high and the carbs are low or the fats are sky high. It's going to happen. A lot of restaurants, especially when you're out on vacation, those kind of places will make a lot of rich foods that are high in like heavy creams, lots of butter and other fats and things like that as well as I mean, they don't cook things always as, as healthy as you like or you're having more desserts right if you're eating more desserts you're getting a lot of extra sugar you're getting a lot of extra fat in that enjoy yourself right enjoy what you're what you're doing enjoy yourself on vacation but use those portion sizes to help kind of guide yourself and give yourself a little more structure so that you're not just eating anything and everything all the time right now if you do and you do gain some weight don't worry about it it's bound to happen, all right? It happened to me. It'll happen to everybody. All you do is once you come back from vacation, go right back into your usual plan and keep it going from there on. And you'll find your body will actually shoot straight back to where it was before you left rather quickly within at least a week or two. All right, for me, it usually takes about a week, uh, depending upon how long I've been gone. For most, it can be about two weeks. Anywhere between that one to two week range is where it'll be because your body's gonna like where it was, right? It's gonna get used to that spot and it's gonna wanna return there as fast as possible. So you just go back to your workout program, you go back to your eating plan, and you'll be all set to go on that extra weight that you gained on vacation will melt off you very quickly and you'll be all set to go. All right, so with those three tips, right, we have quick workouts, a couple times a week, getting the amount of rest, right? Sleep, get as much rest as you possibly can while you're on vacation and you're on a break. And the third one is to use the portion sizes to help kind of balance your plate out and to balance what you're eating a little more without going overboard and really worrying about the strictness of I need like this food and that food and this food. You can do that later on when you come back. All right, so if you use those three tips when you're on vacation or if you're just taking a little you know, break from your exercise program, you can use those to help you not backtrack or lose what you've gained or the progress that you've made. So use those three tips. I guarantee you they will work. And again, enjoy yourself on vacation. Not many of us get to go on vacation often. So enjoy it while you can. And then come back and do what you need to do, right? Just follow back into your usual routine. And you will find that the weight does not even stick on you at all. And you will be all set to go. All right. So that is the end of this video. Uh, this is Finn from More Yourself. I am signing off. And I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Uh, be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'm sure to share this information with anyone you think would find a benefit from it right. so again i will see you guys in the next video and goodbye